Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Orissa Post Live and these are today's top headlines. Orissa Chief Minister Navin Patnaik Tuesday announced a hike in remuneration and allowance of panchayat representatives in the state. As per a release from the Chief Minister's office, the Zilla Parishad President will get Rs 30,000 per month as against Rs 9,380 while the Zilla Parishad Vice President will get Rs 20,000 instead of Rs 7,040 while the Zilla Parishad members will get Rs 10,000 instead of Rs 3,530. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today virtually unveiled over 270 railway projects in Odisha and flagged off the state's third Vande Bharat Express train. The new railway projects included signalling systems, good sheds and a new Vande Bharat Express that will operate between Vishakhapatnam and Bhubaneswar. Biju Janata Dal today supported the implementation of the Citizenship Amendment Act 2019 while the opposition parties in the state criticized the BJP-led central government for enforcing the legislation ahead of general elections. BJD lawmaker Parusaram Dada said that his party welcomes the CAA as it is giving citizenship to the people and not taking away anyone's right to live in the country. Odisha Chief Minister Navin Patnaik today announced casual leave of 25 days a year for women employees working in different departments of the state government. The women employees would now get an additional 10 days of casual leave, taking their total casual leave in a year to 25 days. The chief minister took this decision, keeping in mind the family responsibilities and various problems of women. Odisha High Court Tuesday rejected the merit list prepared by Odisha School Education Program Authority for the recruitment of junior teachers in primary and upper primary schools spread across the state. The High Court also directed the OSEPA authorities to prepare a fresh merit list as per the recruitment terms and guidelines. The BJP Tuesday named OBC leader Nayab Singh Saini as Haryana's new Chief Minister hours after the resignation of Manohar Lal Khattar from the post along with his cabinet ministers. Saini, who is seen to be close to Khattar, has sworn in as Chief Minister later in the day. Khattar's second term as Chief Minister was set to end in October, when the Assembly polls are due. The State Bank of India is reportedly ready with details of electoral bonds that the Supreme Court Monday had asked for to be disclosed to the Election Commission of India by the close of business hours today. The court had warned the country's largest public sector lender that the court may proceed against it for willful disobedience if it failed to comply with its directions and deadlines. A Tejas light combat aircraft of the Indian Air Force crashed near a residential colony in Jaisalmer today during an operational training sortie, the first such incident involving the indigenously built jet. There were no casualties. The pilot ejected safely and a court of inquiry has been ordered to ascertain the cause of the accident. The crash took place around 100 km from the Pokhran Desert in Rajasthan where Bharat Shakti war game witnessed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi was underway. The Indian military operating a surveillance aircraft in the Maldives has begun withdrawing from the island weeks after Maldivian President Mohammad Muizu's order. According to the Maldivian newspaper Miharu, 25 Indian troops deployed in the southernmost atoll of Adu had left Maldives Sunday. The BCCI today declared Rishabh Pant fit to play as a wicketkeeper batter in the upcoming IPL, brightening his prospects of a national comeback in the T20 World Cup after suffering multiple injuries in a harrowing car crash 14 months ago. He will once again be back as Delhi Capitals skipper. Pant has undergone extensive rehabilitation and is ready to shoulder the dual responsibility in the event starting March 22 ending weeks of speculation surrounding his role in the league. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.